boys come in. So today the feast of the Assumption of Blessed Virgin Mary be back again in Madison. Karon pista sa Virgin sa Assumption ni Asa Karon sa Madison. Today a few considerations taken from the very first woman. Now that first woman, the first act that we have of her, and her name is Eve, was to give the forbidden fruit to her husband. After she gave the forbidden fruit, it was discovered by both her and her husband that they were naked. Pagkahuman sa paghatag sa prutas sa ginadili, nakahinumdum sila, kahibalo sila, na hubo ni ay sila. And they went and hid themselves amongst the bushes. Karon nagtago sila sa kalasangan, kaya naulaw ang ilang pati. And when God came to walk with them, they were not there for the meeting. Pagkabot sa ginoo, wala sila dito sa ilang lugar na pag-imitingan. He asked where they were. Ninyo. And why they did not come to the meeting. And Adam said, because we discovered that we were naked. And God said to Adam, how did you know that you were naked? Who told you that you were naked? You could not know that you were naked unless you ate of the forbidden fruit. And Adam immediately made an excuse. Which, which, which is recorded in the Holy Scripture reading today in the breviary. And Adam said, the woman that you gave me for a companion, she gave me to eat. And then God turned to the woman. Why did you do this? And she said, The serpent did deceive me, and I did eat. And then God turned to the serpent. Because thou hast done this thing, thou shalt wander on your belly and eat dust all your days. Ako kang panisol nga ikaw maglakaw sa imong kiyan diha sa sa kalibutan hangto sa kangkungan. And you show I will put enmity between thee and the woman. Ako ang utangan o kaawa diha kanimo ang sa kababayo o ikaw. And enmity between thy seed and her seed. Ang kaawa diha sa imong kaliwat o kaliwat sa babayo. And she shall crush thy head. And thou shalt want lie in wait for her heel. And this record in the book of Genesis chapter 3. And this, this word is in fact the history of the world. God made the history of the world depend upon a woman. In the very beginning, a woman gave an apple to a man. Because she was deceived by a serpent. And, and God fixed this. And we can repeat the conversation in heaven. Where 
When God the Father saw that man needed to be punished, and he comes down to speak to the new Adam, Jesus Christ. And he says, this people needs to be punished. And then our Lord Jesus Christ says to his Father, the woman that you gave me for a mother, she told me that they have no wine. The woman that you gave me for a mother, she made me turn water into wine. So that those souls that were naked are now clothed. Those souls that were starving and thirsty are now filled with charity. You want to judge these souls. But the mother will not allow it. She made me turn water into wine. She sent me to the cross. And she made me nail upon the tree, be nailed upon the tree. That I might shed my blood so that all souls may be saved. And then God the Father can turn to the new Eve. Who is our most blessed Virgin Mary. And say to her, why hast thou done this? And she will say, the serpent has been defeated. The serpent could not deceive me. The serpent's head has been crushed. And the, the people that were once your enemies are now your friends. God has fixed everything. We know that we are born sinners. We are born the enemies of God. And we are born belonging to the Father of lies. But the Father of lies no longer owns us. The mother of truth has destroyed him. Whoever has lies in his heart, and anyone that has ever committed a sin has lived a lie. Needs to turn to Mary. She is the mother of truth. And also St. Paul tells us <laughs> that through sin, death came into the world. But because the, our Lord Jesus Christ died on that cross, Death has been destroyed. And death is swallowed up in victory. And that the death that has now been turned to victory how did death turn to victory? 
Diyon sa man ang kamatayon, pagpalmin ng ato sa kapatid-kaugat. It is only death is only turned to victory because of our mother. Tungod sa atong inahan ang kamatayo na balhin ng ato sa kadaungan. Whoever finds himself in death of sin, kung kinsa ka mo ng mga kapinaka naka naasa sala, mo'y ang 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 kamatayo na balhin ng ato sa kadaungan. Whoever finds himself in the death of lies. Kung sa kato nga naasa bakak. Whoever finds all the death of sin or death of lies, turn to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Kung sa kato nga naasa bakak o the turn to the Blessed Virgin Mary, and she will take. Kung sa kato nga naasa bakak o kanang lies, o kamatuura, wala sa kamatuura, balhi o ngatko ka, mangatko ta, ni mahal na Virgin Maria. And the Blessed Virgin Mary will turn it to victory. Remember the prophecies of the Blessed Virgin Mary about our very times. She said, when things are at their worst, that is when the Blessed Virgin will bring a great victory in a most magnificent and wonderful way. And remember also, today is the day of the Assumption. It is the most glorious day in heaven. Because this is the day the angels were able to receive the body of the Blessed Virgin Mary into heaven. Remember that her body was assumed into heaven like steel being brought to a magnet. When her soul separated from her body when she died. Her soul went to God. But the body of the Holy Mother could not stay away from God. And the body was attracted to heaven like steel attracted to a magnet. And so she went to heaven, body and soul. So And the angels saw and received the body and soul of Mary in heaven as their queen. And as Saint Jerome says. Of the Saint Jerome, that this is the day of the Assumption when Mary destroyed death and death was conquered by victory. And remember when the Blessed Virgin went up into heaven. She thought of everyone. All the living apostles were there except St. Thomas. Who was in India. So on her way to heaven, she was assumed above the living apostles. And then she went over to India. And there she took her sash, her cincture, and gave it to St. Thomas. So that St. Thomas did not miss the assumption. And the Blessed Virgin Mary watches over every one of us. 
And she will make sure that not one of us who loves her. No matter how far we are away from the Holy Land. If we love Mary, she will make the journey to us. Hence the importance of our daily rosary. And those that find it so hard to say the rosary every day. At least say three Hail Marys before going to bed at night. Speaking to Mary before we sleep. And three Hail Marys in the morning when we wake up. Speaking to her again when we arise. And we will necessarily save our souls. If you are strongly tempted against the sins of the flesh, when a temptation comes, say three Hail Marys very slowly to Our Lady. And by the third Hail Mary, the temptation will be gone. Satan hates the Hail Mary. It is the remembrance of that day the day when the angel Gabriel said to Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. And remember, whenever the Lord comes to us, remember the Lord first came to her. And from her, the, she comes to us. Just as in the beginning, we received the trouble and problem of original sin because Eve gave a fruit to Adam. So now, anyone who wants to go to heaven, anyone that wants to be happy in this world, or have any real happiness in his heart, must receive the fruit from the hand of Mary. And hence, what Adam called Eve remains true. Adam, when he saw that beautiful girl laying at his side, whom God had created from his own flesh, Adam called her Eve. And Eve means the mother of all the living. He called her the mother of all the living. But then Eve decided to turn life into death. And her name became a lie. But the Blessed Virgin would not allow the name of Eve to remain a lie. And therefore we can say that she truly is the mother of all the living. And that is what St. Bernard says. For he says that first woman we call Eva, 
But the second woman is the opposite of her. And better her than her in every way. And hence we take the name Eva and we say it backwards. And we say Ave. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. And the Ave says everything. Ang Ave mauna ang tanan. The devil hates that word Ave. Ang demonyo dinig na siya ganahan o maingon kag Ave. It is the word that transforms woman. Mauna ay pulong na nakapabalhin sa usa ka babae. And makes her the mother of life again. Mauna ang nakapabalhin sa usa ka babae nga nahimo and makes the fruit that comes from her hand a fruit that gives life. And gives her the power to crush the head of the old serpent. Hence we say with St. Bernard, the great St. Bernard, De Maria Numquam Satis of Mary Never Enough. Kang Maria Santisima Nikuangan Ra Kanunay. And so let us love Mary with all our hearts. Have confidence in her Hail Mary. Ogna atay confidence sa pagampo o paglitok sa maghimayak ka Maria. And with that Ave Maria. We will destroy Satan. Live happy lives. We'll be able to overcome all temptations. Die happy deaths. And be carried by the arms of our mother. Into the kingdom of heaven. There is no happiness. There is no peace. And there is no joy. Without man. Keep the Blessed Virgin inside our hearts. And no matter how sinful we become, and no matter how wicked we behave, never be afraid to go to your mother. She can clean the most filthy of hearts. She, she can wipe away all the most terrible errors and heresies. And she can fix everything in a moment. Let's turn our hearts to her. And when we love her, we will discover that loving her is the same as loving God. Because she takes all the love that comes to her. And she gives it to her son. And she gives it to the Father and the Holy Ghost. Whoever wants to love God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Ghost must love Mary. She always points to him. And if we want to stay away from error and live in peace, stay with Mary. God bless you all.